job, but you weren't with us. Uh, the high decline, the heart of the fire, but how did you get up? I done got rich and went broke, then got rich again, just a little hiccup. I did be bottling this pickup. Remember me being so bummy and being so hungry, I had to eat gross. Ay, how did the lady go miss? Ay, how she was she mixed? Met her at one of the functions, we caught a little rhythm. She caught up a friend that kissed and we dipped it, and that's how we kicked it. Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a sprain. Pain, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different, so I asked, can I? Before I went live, ain't know what I was. Ain't no one alive to do what I does. Need a light ear just to catch my buzz. He's right here just to catch my cup. Now they don't really talk about us. Now they don't really talk about love. Honestly, they ain't never seen too much. What's love to a guy with a bag? What's heart to a guy with a cat? What's pain to a guy that's mad? Said. What's broke to a guy with a mask? What's broke to a guy with a plan? I just want to kick it. That's all I ask. Like. Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a sprain. Pain, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Summer drawing to a close here in the southeast. The roof is closed at the wondrous Mercedes-Benz Stadium due to the hot temp still outside here in downtown Atlanta. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. progresses. Second and three. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. Four yards the pick up, first down. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start guys let's get out of the gate fast <laughs> how about that they took his lesson to heart didn't they they did exactly that a nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive throwing on first down but this one winds up to be incomplete that's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers you got to get in there and get physical with them that time he got in close got in tight and knocked the ball away They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. It'll be a pickup of just two. And it'll move the chains. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. They'll set up a throw. 
got his man on the out route. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. It's second and inches at the 44-yard line. taken down and Charles part of the reason they lost last week they didn't have a single sack well they changed that quickly but did they ever and it was something they talked about with us extensively they needed to get pressure how were they going to get to the quarterback obviously they schemed themselves into a great play didn't they Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And to give this time to the tailback. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 14. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. They'll look to throw. This throw caught right around the six. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple of yards short of the first. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up four. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door first and goal. Back to throw here. take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive building confidence after a loss that's a good way to do it the loss last game but first drive here in this one cashing it in for six and they can talk all they want about putting the loss behind them i think that drive there did more than any conversation they had don't you think that's exactly right puts that to bed and this is what they said all week long a lot of things they needed to do differently whatever they said appears to have worked the kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. That's their own 26-yard line.
defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Side, it's complete. He's got it. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter, it's a good running back dive play. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. The kicker on. We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over ramp. Others say, I've got two touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Dancing to his left. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. He rifles one that's in. The ball comes loose. Oh, he's got some breathing room. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Play action fake. They'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he just chopped that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. to the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. And his kick here is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. to The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the field goal, please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. 
making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. <laughs> Whether it's the guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 37 yard line. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw. Right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. They're going to look to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Escaping the pressure right. He's running back. It's complete. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Quickly here, and that's complete. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. The Falcons send out their punter as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the running back position. And I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league. But the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, People have shied away from taking a runner early. But there's that special one there. I say they go get him. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. And the Buccaneer first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at Complete the 50. Number 32. Out of bounds at the 50-yard line. It's a gain of five. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. They'll throw now on the final play. And that is incomplete. 
A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So we have reached halftime here in an 11 point contest as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. He releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10 just shy of midfield at the 48 they'll try and start this drive in the air and the double coverage and it's intercepted Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Go for a right side here. Complete. And down he goes at the 49. A three-yard pickup. Three yards the gain there. Second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play. But it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target. Guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Seemed like they picked an excellent time there, Charles, to go with the draw play. They certainly did. Caught him a little over-eager trying to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. They used their speed and their aggressiveness against them, didn't they? First down, he'll drop to throw. Now he steps away, and he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. And that time, he came out of the slot for that the score. I think what we just saw there, partner, was what we call scheming a guy open. Put him in the slot, know that he has tremendous speed. What you're doing with your other receivers is likely running shorter routes to draw the attention closer to the line of scrimmage to give him a chance to get downfield and turn it into a one-on-one -on -one route, often against the safety. You like your odds when he's running against the safety. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off inside the five. But as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back get two points yourself. That's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. This taken in about four yards deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25 yards for the touchback. 25-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive with an interception. A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. 34-yard line. 
Second and one. First tight end on the corner. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. Looking to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Three yards the game there. Second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And his throw is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On third down, he'll drop the throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. And at the 20-yard line. They'll look to throw here. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Complete to number eight. One of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Incomplete. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Five yards, now it's third and five. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and maybe an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Now they try the right side here. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll go down. For the third quarter of action. Back now in Atlanta. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They find themselves behind here to start the fourth quarter. Back to throw now on first down. Forced out to his left. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. there and it'll be a first and goal only way to get the lead here of course with a touchdown and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal and he'll give it here to his running back and he's maybe going to get this back to the four but that's about all they'll say no gain on the play and it'll be second and goal on the play leads to second and goal at the four yard line line of scrimmage again the four yard line second and goal Tailback. And he will push a 
his way forward down to about the three-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play, third and goal. He'll look to throw. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. From three yards out. And the Bucs have taken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. And the lead is now two. The kick is good. Makes the score Buccaneers 16, Falcons 14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line and now they'll look to answer working from behind and remember this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half they'll need to change that here here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield and run 37 yards so how about that for a chain mover they're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10 he'll drop to throw oh that was dangerous the pass throw it into coverage almost picked but instead they'll keep it on second down I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there there weren't really any throwing lanes but the best part for him He's got second and third down to fall back on. Now this throw caught left side. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down. At the 26-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Reception good for seven. It's third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm gonna keep fighting. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Brings up second. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. And it's caught, and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Falcons have retaken the lead. He's got it, and it's now a 21-16 lead. Makes the score Falcons 21, Buccaneers 16. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Their own 23-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Got to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. And he goes out right around the 39. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Down Buccaneers. They'll look to throw. Goes right side, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. First down, Tampa Bay. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second. And They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. And this is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. The down by five. They've got to go for it here on fourth down. He's back to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion. And defensively, pure frustration. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open. Now second down. I see you nodding your head up and down. It's a very head. decision at this stage of the game out of the pocket nowhere to go just get rid of it that's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well throw the ball away live to fight another down line of scrimmage the 31 as they line up second and 10 back to throw time he's got the hookup it's complete and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds a gain of 13 it's a first down from the red zone now they'll look to throw and he's got it it's caught for a touchdown and they have taken the lead seconds so for those of little faith guess what it got done they now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest i wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just experienced well, i'm just
just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive. And they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. So they're unable to stretch it to a three-point lead. Now you got to be careful on the kickoff because the field goal obviously beats you. Definitely, and that's why they went for Position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41 yard line. Back to throw. Costly, costly sack. And now maybe just time for one final play. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons, and it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did, but they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished, but to win a close one like this... You know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So for Atlanta, they get back to 500 now as the win moves them to 7-7. Seven and seven. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers... Someone put me out cause I'm on fire I can't give a about what they say They've been searching for that thing to get them higher You can't catch my drill, can't catch my wave Damn, Kane, you done kill Abel. Unbalanced land, trying to keep the people stable. The way I feel, I might f it all up. The way you feel, you might do it for the bug. All black, born to be a rebel. After this, I might go in water down the double. Listen to everything around me, I can't see. You picked a dozen roses and left them in Galilee rolling. Thunder, don't hear my cry, don't let alibi splash if I finally start to realize. Never give up and go I can't watch TV. It's all a lot of time to try and go ahead and fly. Everybody want a straight answer with media. Keep us blind. A good heart is not hard to find. Why the people try to define infrastructure right on that time? Structure right on that time. I could get into all two. We're talking about your butts to protecting themselves and daughters from political and slaughter. Someone put me out because I'm on fire. I can't give a about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my drill, can't catch my wave. Never play by the rules, that's what paying my dues. They gon' try to intrude, poison the multitude. They be quick to abuse when you got different views. Press up the item, you choose. When you touch in the culture, hit you with them, can't ultra. I knew you was a vulture. Holy Ghost, get the ushers. No, 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 I can't trust you. Shock you, deny you fluster. Crashing down, I was cluttered. Doing this so subtle, rolling out through the rubble. Remember this in jungle. The top, I was gonna get something. The middle, gotta stay hunting. Why the rush off for nothing? 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 Agitated illusion, only built for confusion. The, the institution, modern day execution. Think I knew the solution. Maybe not should I do it. Just put it in the music. Just put it in the music. So I'm on fire. I can't give a about what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You 
can't catch my drift, can't catch my wave. You're burning out if you took it to the fire. Can you feel me rushing through your bed? Though you may get out as you desire. No ceiling with that never be the same. You're burning out if you jump into the fire. What can you feel me rushing through your bed? She like, I mean. Hey, boy, so you got yeah. go Okay. Mm. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, huh, sometimes you need a foe. Want to keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. I sat down with my accountant, he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, well, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. Okay. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know your worth. Sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bay. You can't negotiate with Drake. You gon' have to pay, but wait. Jugging on the main stage, the main frame. Loosen up your face, baby. Sometimes I need a vacay, meditate, hydrate, protect my energy uh, before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. Uh, but once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, cause you're forcing nature. Boss. I don't wanna seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Foc focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LA. <laughs> Distinctive destinations, all I wanna see. Ocean from residence is three different ones a week. Cause I deserve that. It's time to learn that. Mess around and put that thing up where your permit. Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that. At the front of this line is where my turn at. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, sometimes you need a fool. Oh, men gon' lie, women gon' lie. You're looking for the truth and the numbers don't hide. Looking for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase, see what your eyes. Everybody claim to be great at small times when they never spend a day in the rain in the front line. No lie. No lie. 